Brady with time, running out of time now, and bolts up the middle. Slides down at the 35-yard line, a pickup of about four. That old any given Sunday theory. This is Corey Dillon. Corey Dillon out across the 40 to about the 43 or 44 and a first down for the Patriots. Brady spreads the field now on first down as we come up on 70 seconds to play in the first quarter. Pass near side. That's complete. Close to midfield. Troy Brown with the catch and out of bounds. Edgel that with those eight on the road, you ought to be able to come out with enough to make the playoffs. On second and four, Lawrence Maroney across midfield and a penalty marker comes in late. And another, now another one comes in. Personal foul, grabbing the face mask. Number 98, defense. 15-yard penalty, first down. Oh, right there with the left hand. Oh, yeah, John Henderson got the left hand on the face mask of Maroney and didn't let it go. Pulled him all the way down to the ground with it. First down, the ball just across the 35-yard line of the Jaguars. Brady, good protector, far side, complete. David Thomas, the tight end. Over the middle, that's complete to Caldwell. And Caldwell wrestled down short of the first down at the 26. First-year tackle from Alabama has come on for the Patriots, and this run goes nowhere for Heath Evans. Heck of a percentage. Brady keeping it, looking for the first down. Penalty markers down. False start, ah. number 12, offense. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. Keep Good job on the place down. The kick is on its way, and it is good. Ooh, did he have a little draw on that? That looked like it was going to go wide right, and he hooked it right back in. Here for Jacksonville, and he gets the handoff here. And squirms free. Still free, and there he goes. Seventy-four yards. Now the Patriots say he was stopped. Well, no official has said that. A knee touched the ground. Let's take a look at it. Oh, well, he, he hits his own man. He bounces off his own man and hits the ground. Here comes Bill Belichick trotting upfield. Let's see, does a New England Patriot touch him? He's certainly down by contact, but the contact was with his own player. Ty Warren was the one who forced, looks like Kyle Brady, number 80. New England is challenging the ruling on the field that the runner was not down by contact. There, when he, he had him and let him go. After reviewing the play, it is a touchdown. New England is charged with a second timeout. What straight game, he scored a rushing touchdown. David Gerrard likes it a lot. With time, wide open, Troy Brown, 35, 40, out across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Deion Grant wrapped him up there. That's a quick first down for New England. This is Dillon, and Dillon is smacked back at the 38-yard line by Paul Spicer. Make a bid for some good field position, third and ten. Brady, down at the 34. Spicer and Marcus Stroud. Oh, and Tom gets caught right in the sandwich. That is a big hit from in the Jacksonville camp, because they knew who they could turn to. Third and four. Gerard over the middle, had it batted back, incomplete. Oh, he hit the umpire. Oh, oh my lord, he hit Garth DeFelice, the umpire. He's going to take this. He turns a little bit at the last minute, but it looks like it hits him right in the ear. And folks, a football is really hard. That and uh, that'll leave a mark. First down, Brady and company from their own 18. 
Pulls it down this side, screams it the other way to Daniel Graham, and Graham shakes the tackle, and out over the 20 to about the 24-yard line. Next to Maroney behind Brady. Maroney with the football. Still on his feet, and right at that first down marker. Brady finds his man, Falk. And forward progress is going to be marked close to the 35. On second and four. That is complete, out close to the 40-yard line to number 13, Bam Childress. First-year receiver out of Ohio State. Brady throws outside. That is complete to Kevin Falk. And Brady just standing back there picking and choosing. <laughs> On the ground with Maloney. And Maloney with a first down across midfield to the 46 of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Starts his man in motion. Throwing over the middle. And that is complete inside the 40 to Troy Brown. This is Falk. And Kevin Falk has a first down inside the 35-yard line. <laughs> On second and 10. Brady going to run. 30 and dive into the 25-yard line. And that's very close to another first down. They'll come up about a yard shy. Quick pass out to the side. Complete for the first down close to the 20-yard line to Jabbar Gaffney. And we have a marker down. 51, defense. Half the distance to the goal. First down. That's against Clint Ingram. He doesn't see that it was that gentle of a hit. On first and goal, Kevin Falk to about the six. And a Walt Anderson is hospital just to be checked out. He was hit in the neck. And Tom Brady with the sneak to the goal line. Brady right at the goal line. Jacksonville has got to wake up. He has eight career receptions, all for touchdown. But the give is to Corey Dillon. How's that for a methodical move from one end of the field to the other by the New England Patriots offense? Patriots lead 10-7. 106 yards rushing for Maurice Jones-Drew. With the Jacksonville Jaguars on the short end of a 10-7 score. I'd escort the kid right to a recliner and let him get some rest here at halftime. Pro Bowl, second and eight. Gives to Maloney. And Maloney fights his way to about the 28, maybe the 29, where Marcus Stroud makes the stop. On this team, these are two of the league's best defenses, and each one of them only has a single representative. Jacksonville looking for a stop here on third and three. Brady throws far side. That is complete to Jabbar Gaffney, who's been a big receiver for Brady today, and he has a first down. Together all those years together at Texas. This is Dillon trying to turn the corner and knocked out of bounds at the 22. Brady going to throw for the end zone. Diving, catching a touchdown. David Thomas. Oh, and I can tell you right now, Jack Del Rio wants to see a replay of this. He wants to see how close was that football to bouncing off the ground. And did David Thomas have complete control of the ball? Boy, does he lay out for this ball. Led perfectly by Tom Brady. Look how Tom lays this ball out there. Thomas has to leave his feet. And this is going to tell us. Hmm. Well, it looks to me like he, keep in mind, the call on the field was a touchdown. I think he's going to see conclusive play, proof. The ruling on the field stands. It is touchdown. Jacksonville is charged with his first timeout. In seven, Tom Brady celebrating the touchdown with David Thomas. With just four first downs on the day. Need one badly here. Gerard over the middle, got his man across the 40 to the 45. Matt Jones pulled it in, first down Jaguar, 45. Play fake, Gerard. 
throwing far side of the field, and that's complete inside the 40 of the Patriots to George Reister, his first catch of the day. Throws near side, turns Drew, had it bounce off his hands and complete. It'll be fourth down. Here's the kick on its way. It is no good. Oh, well, now New England's going to get some mighty good field position. Impossible. Tom Brady with career high, 27 yards rushing today. Second and seven, pass inside the 40, complete to Daniel Graham. That's enough for a first down. And here comes New England again. There goes Kevin Falk, clear to the top of your screen. Brady throwing this side of the field incomplete. Troy Brown is intended receiver. Castle's hold is good. The kick is on the way. It is no good. He didn't play that draw. His 443 to play in the third. Jack Del Rio says, "Oh, you betcha, we're still alive." On the day for Maurice Jones Drew. Play fake to him this time. Gerard throwing, intercepted. There's a penalty marker down in the backfield as Gerard is flat on his back. David Gerard plants. He's looking down. He's looking down. And after the fact, did they call Seymour? There's two guys there. Let's see which one of the two actually is going to get called for it. Well... I would think it looks like Seymour and Tully Bantha Kane are the two guys there. If you keep a score at home, you can say things have evened out, but that one negated an INT. Carrard on the move, near side, looking, throwing deep, has a man open. That's complete inside the five to Ernest Wilford. First and goal at the two for Jacksonville. Field with Derek Wimbush blocking in front of him. How's that for a power formation? Jones Drew, straight ahead, touchdown. And no pretense there on the part of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Three minutes, six seconds to play. Third quarter, and the Jaguars pull to win three. He's a bowling ball, Dan. He's a bowling ball. He gets in there. He's following some really good blocking, though. That's just, that's just excellent power football, right? Six here. Brady with room to run. Has the first down as he dives. Or did he get hit? 43. Is he all right? He got hit hard. Looks like Clint Ingram, the, the linebacker, and Tom Brady's hurt. Tom's going down, he turns his back, and he gets speared right in the back by Clint Ingram. Matt Castle is the backup quarterback. Down. This is Corey Dillon. And Dillon across the 45 to the 47. And Brady is back. Penalty marker down. Defense, 12 men. Five-yard penalty. It's still first down. Brady throwing up the seam. Got his man inside the 35. It's Daniel Graham. Another first down for New England. Oh. Jumping on the near side. And the Jaguars. Penalty markers fly. It was Bobby McCray. Offside, number 93, defense, five-yard penalty, still second down. Linebacker Mike Vrabel has checked in as an eligible receiver, but to give it to Moroni, left side, and there he goes to the end zone. Touchdown, New England. Twenty-seven yards. And completely untouched. Gerard on the 
move. Markers down. Two markers down. He's out of bounds at the first down marker, but let's check the flag. Oh, this is holding on Chris Naoli, the right guard. Really horse pounded. Results in a second and 16. The gave us to Jones Drew. Trying to find running room. Burst through a hole across the 45 to the 47. And comes up about three yards short of a first down. 340 to play. And the clock is moving. He's special. 131 yards rushing today. Third down, pass to the near side. That's complete. Enough for a first down and out of bounds to George Reister at the 42. Stops the clock with 319 to play. Gerard to Jones Drew. Looking for the sidelines and out of bounds at the 33. 312 on the clock. For him today, and that's good news for them down the stretch. Gerard to throw on second and one, and that's complete. This is Matt Jones to the end zone for a touchdown. Jacksonville still very much alive. Didn't take chances, managed the offense really well, and took the shot when he had a chance. Outstanding pass protection. Seymour elevates to try to get it, but then the missed tackle right there. Ellis Hobbs can't bring Matt Jones down, and it ends up being a Jacksonville TD. Hobbs is 27, his responsibility, he just breaks way too far to the outside and misjudges Matt Jones' speed back to the inside. Matt now, if you're, if you're Jacksonville right here now, they've got a decision to make, Greg. Jacksonville has one timeout. Dillon wrapped up at the 13 by Bobby McRae. And they came through for him. And when I saw this initially, I thought this was going to be a first down. Because Troy Brown is wide open and Tom overthrows him. Troy Brown was wide open. Rasheen Mathis is at midfield. Todd Sauerbrunn has been averaging 33 yards a punt. In this, his first game with New England. Gets off a terrific kick here. Mathis, fair catch called for and made at his own 45-yard line. Gerard, running out of time. Still on his feet and tried to throw it. Is that a fumble? It goes over to the New England Patriots. He's maintaining that he was trying to throw the football away. Jarvis Green made the hit. Out of there before David Gerard's Oh, that is so close. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. And I totally see where Walt's coming from. Came to make it a three-point game. And then they had a chance to tie it or win it. And uh, But again, how many times over the years are we going to watch the New England Patriots when their back's up against it? They're the ones who make the big plays. And uh, that's after a while, Greg, you know, it's just not a coincidence. Sure.